Hello, everyone. I have a blue tongue. <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed because I saw myself. Let me try it again. Hello, everyone. I am Jamie, and this is a Patreon exclusive. Today, I am going to be in the Academy Java uh, a game playing Elwyn Winnie. Uh, last time you saw us in the episode, we were sort of getting to meet all of our new characters, and we were going to this new Academy, figuring out that we are leaving the orphanage and going to this place, not really having an idea what we're getting ourselves into, but we do know we have some rules to to abide by and uh, hopefully um, we're going to get into that right now let's do that thing where we go around the table and introduce ourselves i'm brianna i'm the dungeon master going around the table starting with jamie Hello, I am Jamie, and I will be playing Elwyn or Winnie, the Elven Druid. And Xavier. Hello, I'm Xavier, and I will be playing Flynn, or Flinster, I believe, uh, the Halfling Cleric. Nice. And Ryan? Hello, I'm Ryan, and I'll be playing Grimby Hammerhills, the Dwarven Barbarian. And Kelsey. I'm Kelsey, and I'll be playing Anavriel, or Anna, the Eladrin wizard. Fantastic. So, um, Jamie did a great job recapping just now, but last episode, we were able to get you guys into Java, the school for valiant adventurers. Um, or valiant adolescents, that's what I ended up with. Like, it's Java, that's the point. <laughs> But um, you did notice that it might have been a little bit less appropriate before it was a school. Um, you got to meet some of your uh, new authority figures and in doing so made quite an impression on quite a few of them. And they <laughs> might have made an impression on you. Who knows? <laughs> but for now... It's time for you all to find your rooms and get acquainted. And I think that Bethany would be relieved to just tell you to go up to the second floor and pick your rooms. That is the directive. And from there, <laughs> you can do what you'd like. <laughs> um, Elwyn quickly disappears. <laughs> Of course. Um, and then I am also doing that RP wise because I unfortunately will be right, right back. One uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Oh man, okay. method acting. Oh yeah. goodness. That's, that's, that's meta. So good. Oh, it's super meta. Um, Anna is going to find the room that's closest to the library. That's. <laughs> Here, that's one second. Go for. I'm just going to roll a d4 real quick. So the library's on the third floor. So oh, okay. you cool. actually, you're on the second floor, but you can pick the one closest to the stairs, or you could just try to go up to the third floor if you wanted um, and ignore no, bedrooms no, entirely. I mean, they'll, they'll just pick one that, that's closer to, to the stairs. I mean, it's not, they're not like super picky. Like this is just. <laughs> All right. So it's... Um, do me a favor and I'm going to have each of you do this or. Uh oh. You guys do this three times because, from what I understand, two of you will be sharing a room. Um, I'd like you to give me a roll between one and ten. And that's just going to kind of decide how nice the room is. Oh boy. Okay. I think this is a d10. <laughs> it's, like, oh. it's, it's hard to tell what dice are if you can't move them around. If it's just a big Yeah. Room. Oh, okay. Holy well shit. Do you know what do you know oh. what number this is now? Kelsey I rolled a, a ten. I got a ten on a D ten. Nice. That means I, yep. So a swanky room. <laughs> you got the swankiest room in the siren song. <laughs> so <laughs> I picture so this was already a fairly nice establishment. You could tell walking through, it's like, oh wow, three stories and like it's a mm -hmm. nice place mm -hmm. um it's got lots of room and when you go upstairs 
it's just one long hallway with a bunch of doors and they all look exactly the same. So you figure, uh, I'm just going to take the one right by the stairs because the library is on the third floor. You yeah. open that room up and this is the nicest bedroom you have ever seen for fucking in. Uh, it's very obviously, <laughs> I'm talking, there's a mirror on the ceiling you might need to be uh, relocating or you're weird. Either way, I don't, I don't trust anyone who sleeps with a mirror on their ceiling. <laughs> um so so did they not like i, I guess like child proof these <laughs> before didn't have time they, they had didn't to start change now. the sign kelsey <laughs> they, <laughs> this was all pretty last minute um oh, but yeah God. like i'm not saying that there's like evidence of anything like but, uh, yeah the sheets are okay. new um it's just like man <laughs> that's, that's a really it. nice big bed under that mirror um <laughs> and like there's a lot of like oh, i imagine no. like very pretty fabrics of lining the walls mm -hmm. and such like it's supposed to make you feel horny i don't know um <laughs> You know how brothels make you feel horny? That's what you're supposed to do in them. <laughs> when I understand. For books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so so an Avril, I think, like, just because of their background, I mean, like, grown up in Odyssey, like, a lot of the, like, fanciness level of this is gonna yeah. kind of just not, like, they're gonna be like, oh, yes, finally, a place that's more like what I'm used to back at home. And then they see the mirror and go, like, oh, I could, like, there's like thinking to themselves, like, oh, yeah, that could have some interesting magical, like, applications. This could actually be pretty useful. And so I think they're gonna take oh, I'll this. show you magical. Okay, so but yeah, cause, like consider it's like yeah, like I'm like trying to figure out what happens when I like dream and sleep and everything. So you know, yeah, like a mirror like that could actually come in handy. It'd be great. That's true. Ladrin <laughs> have weird sleep stuff. So yeah, yeah. So is this a thing where Anna like knows but just refuses to acknowledge, or are they just yeah? yeah I the think most it's a thing like, I've ever there's heard of. Definite there's definitely like a part of them that knows like they they are aware of this on some level mm -hmm. but they're also just like don't want to like admit it to themselves or anyone else. Oh. Just, like, yeah. if i don't acknowledge it it doesn't exist and i don't have to think about it that this is where i've ended up in my life so we're just gonna shove that like, one under the carpet this this room is like peak opulence where like there's a big dresser a big like beautiful little vanity area more mm. pillows than you'd know what to do with honestly like you know those beds where you have to unload the pillows before you can go to sleep this mm -hmm. is mostly pillows on the bed and uh if you want to sleep you're gonna have to push off like 40 pillows um to make room <laughs> it was pillows oh, i'm really hoping down. i roll a <laughs> yeah, I hope I roll a five for mine. Not one, not ten, just five. I, I, I would like to to put out there that there's probably like ten rooms all together. So if anyone rolls a one, there's a chance that they could go elsewhere if they'd like. Um, <laughs> also, Anna's absolutely just going to assume that this is what all the groups are like. That they're all up to the same <laughs> level. <laughs> That's oh. fair. <laughs> So as Anna is settling into their room, who would like to pick their own room next? I think Flynn is just following uh, Grimby around. Aww. Like, all right, go ahead, man. Just take your pick. I'm not, like, I'll do whatever. Uh, oh. it, it, it's your choice. Uh, all, all right. Uh, and he, it, hmm. I'm going to have to roll a D10, but uh, there's going to be a moment where he realizes none of these rooms have bunk beds. But, uh, uh, you don't know. Yeah, the, the infamous brothel punk beds. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you, you might have like, like one room that's just for like people There's to a stay in overnight. You know Sometimes like... they maybe they just need to sleep. Yeah, we'll find out. But yeah, like the people who do like the housework and stuff, like they yeah. need a place to stay too. That's, so, you know, there needs right. to be regular rooms. That's true. Um, All right, let's find out. Hey, see? Ah! A nice four. That's a nice in between. So, honestly, given your situation, I feel like you two probably looked in a few rooms before you were able to find one. Um, 
Not with bunk beds, unfortunately, but with two twin size beds across from each other. Um, Like a nice little, like Kelsey said, this is probably where either the girls actually slept back in the day because they didn't sleep in the rooms that they were catering business in. Yeah. Um, Or it was where the staff slept, something like that, because it's just two nice little beds, two little drawers. Like it kind of reminds you of the home for children but a little bit more privacy um you each would get a window in this room the only problem with it is it's a little bit dusty and there are no like blankets on the beds yet Ah. so you'll have to find some blankies oh no worries i got some from like he opens his his bag (laughs) his hobo bag and i'm like i got some sheets from the uh (laughs) from the other place uh don't worry, stealing will work. We'll work this out. It'll be great. <laughs> but when you, well, ma- if you guys need extra pillows, like- <laughs> that's a good point. Uh, I imagine Grimby's like looking out the window when, like, when he kind of leans back in, like he uh, looks down at his hands, just are covered with glitter, and he just starts trying to <laughs> knock the hand, glitter off his hands. It's just not happening. Oh, oh no! Just run them through his beard a little bit. Oh no! That'll never come off. <laughs> That'll no, never uh, get out. Uh, the tragedy no beard uh, that's true that's well, true hey silver linings uh, that's, no i glitter. picture him like having some beard he just kind of has alopecia it's, in some places oh yeah, like, yeah. See, it's it's just a damaged patchy yeah. yeah yeah but it's still there um so the only thing i could say for you two is there's always a chance you could roll for your beds if you'd like to see if one of the beds is vastly nicer than the other bed in this bedroom. Well, the thing, you know, we can roll for the beds, but we, uh, uh, I think we both know that uh, Flintster is going to wind up with a nicer bed if there is one. A more interesting bed, I would say. Fair. Uh, he <laughs> would pick. Doesn't mean doesn't mean doesn't mean a higher right. number. Here's uh, what I'm like to... gonna do. I, I'll roll two d6s right now, and Ooh. these are the two beds. And you're going to be able to tell probably by looking which one is which. <laughs> well, bam, a three and a four. Okay. okay, they're both fine. They're both fine beds. Yeah. I imagine one of them has a pillow on it, and it's not that yellow. Um, <laughs> but they're. <laughs> Perfectly acceptable beds. One of them's a little bit creaky. Yeah. Flynn goes, creaky one. <laughs> uh, he jumps on the creaky bed and kind of like lays flat on his belly for, for a couple minutes just to take it in. <laughs> I picture him with like his, his little chin in his hands. He's kicking his feet up. Like, what you thinking about? <laughs> yeah. For, oh, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. He would be, yeah, head where the feet go and like just looking at Grimby, waiting expectantly for him to go try his bed. Yeah. Uh, it's a much slower, more awkward kind of walks over it and pushes down on it a few times with his hand to kind of test it a little bit. And then he kind of like sits down on it, but still looking vaguely uncomfortable. Like he literally doesn't like flop down effortlessly like uh, Flinster does. He just kind of sits down and kind of folds his hands in his lap like not knowing what to do with himself is Grimby one of those guys that just like never looks comfortable like whether he's standing or sitting he just looks like he'd rather be somewhere else he can look less comfortable uh less uncomfortable (laughs) but he never looks comfortable got it all right Jamie (laughs) check Um, so where did Winnie go? Did Winnie go to the second floor as instructed? Nah. (laughs) No. Winnie wants to try to find some... I I don't care. You can give me the rolled one bedroom. Winnie doesn't really care where they're going to be put to sleep. Um, They're just looking for where they're going to stash their stuff. Mm. So last time I had sort of like a on top of the roof situation. This time I'm hoping to have sort of a we don't talk about Bruno situation. Oh, oh no. Shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, you thought about this. Uh, all right. So here's the thing about that. You might not be able to find it the first try. That's okay. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And I'm not saying it does exist. The dice will tell us, but mm-hmm. Ryan. 
What is what is uh we don't talk about Bruno's situation? Aww, oh, watching Canto, I mean, Brian. I mean, Watch I've been it. in the room when it was on, but I've had too much to do. I get it. He's in the walls. Yeah, he lives like inside Spoilers. the walls of the building. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. You can see him in the background of a bunch of scenes before that's revealed. Anyway, um, <laughs> he's Spoilers. also he also has OCD, and he's my baby. Um, <laughs> I've never felt closer to a character before. <laughs> Um. Okay, so let's play this out a little bit. Where would Winnie go first? Because she was instructed to go to the first, the second floor. I imagine Bethany leading them with Mister Page to the stairs. So I imagine you might have gone up the stairs first, but then kept going or snuck back down. What What are you thinking? What do you paint me a picture? I picture sort of like maybe Bethany is leading us down this hallway over to the stairs. And as we're sort of walking down, you just see Winnie do like a full 180 turnaround. Um, and is going to try to look for maybe like a basement entrance somewhere. Did she do this in front of Bethany or did she wait until Bethany yeah. turned around? Okay. Um, then Bethany would grab your shoulder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you're not hiding it if you're not hiding no. it um she will probably reach out and grab your shoulder and... where are you going young lady oh well you can just assign me a bed i don't really care hmm. all right then where are you going i just thought i'd look around see you know get get sort of lay of the land She's going to click her tongue and look up to uh, Mr. Page and then look back down to Winnie and she goes, why don't you go get the lay of the land of the second floor? And she's going to like push you towards the stairs. (laughs) And she would definitely have to give like a good shove because she's going to dig her feet in. Mm -hmm. So this is this is essentially the standoff moment. The first one of what I assume will be many, mm-hmm. where Bethany's going to watch you until you go up the stairs, and you're not going to move until Bethany lets you go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know, after I think a moment, uh, Winnie will Winnie will cross her arms and will go up the stairs, but is going to make direct eye contact. <laughs> The full, the full time, and then the second they're out of eye shot is going to uh, try to try to. I don't know. Look around, I guess. <laughs> um, if you'd like to try to find like the coolest room or the room that looks like it might appeal to her the most, or she'll just I grab assume... the first one. Okay, the first, whatever's closest, because she really it doesn't matter. She's going out the window probably. <laughs> All right, this is a three-story house. We established that while you were away, just so you know. That's fine. <laughs> um, could you roll me a D10 to see what this, the first room, the very first room at the stairs. Okay. Seven. Okay, nice, nice. All right, now I need to decide if this is a Winnie seven or a regular person seven. Because mm. <laughs> I can make you this a seven room for a room Winnie. That has not been repaired for several years. <laughs> That's what she'd want, right? Like, I should have exactly. thought about this beforehand. Um, a one is a ten uh, for Winnie. It's like all kinds of like little hidden doors, I imagine, for keeping stuff. Yeah. All right, here's what I'm going to do. On a one through three, it's a regular person's uh, idea of a seven. On a, th- on a four through six, it's Winnie's idea of a seven. Bam. Three. Uh, okay. Yep. Right in the middle, though. Like, right in the, like, middle. So, I'm going to say this is a fairly nice room. It does look like it was used for entertaining, which makes sense because you came right up the stairs and went straight to it. So, this was probably what they might refer to as, like, a fast and loose sort of bedroom. Um it, it, it has everything you need for a standard bedroom. It's got a desk. It's got a dresser. It's got a bed. Um, probably some nice red velvet curtains. Uh, the bed's all made up. 
I want you to roll me a perception check, though, because I imagine Winnie's not looking at the overall room. She's immediately looking for that hidey spot that you were talking about, right? So let's see if she finds one in this room by uh, rolling me a perception okay. check first. Okay. Can I do modifiers on roll dice with friends or just? Uh, you can no. just tell me what the modifier is after. Yeah. It's plus five. Well, <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right. So this is the most boring room. <laughs> like there's the window doesn't open. You find out. Oh, actually. God, this is the worst it's actually, nightmare. Uh, it's nailed shut is actually the problem because uh, oh, no. John's kept running out on the girls while they were like, <laughs> getting dressed guys would just jump right out the window so they had to nail it down that's why this mm. is the fast and loose room like the people who are going to Anna's room they're gonna pay no one no mm. one doubts that that person's gonna pay this guy mm. might jump out a window instead so we had to nail it gotcha. shut. Mm. okay so that's unfortunate for you yeah <laughs> yeah that sucks but uh, it's a big house it's a yeah. big house so there's a lot of walls a lot of walls. many walls <laughs> yeah that's fine. <laughs> There's a dresser in your room, you know that. There's always, you know, what's a good thing to hide a hole in the wall? That's true. I've played video games. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think for the rest of the day, Bethany would probably let you guys do as you would. Like, unpack, get cozy, like... She's just going to talk to Mr. Page downstairs for a few hours and let you guys have at it. So I think that would probably include the library. But if you went to go to the third floor, you'd realize it was locked. So you'd have to go ask her for a key. Mm. But. So what do you guys think you would do to start? Like, would you guys the heck would you sleep like i don't know what you guys would do when you get to a new place i'm the type of person who when i go to a hotel room i do unpack everything as jason made fun of me for in the very first episode of the sark which is bullshit because i like it when everything mm -hmm. has a place and i like to feel like i'm i'm living somewhere nice um yeah i don't like to live out that. of suitcases like i get that we, we don't have that many things to begin with yeah. and also <laughs> Flynn is already unpacked. He just like dropped the bag. He was like, done. <laughs> so I think he'd he'd be doing the same thing he was doing at the shelter before leaving, which is just like taking in the space. So he he is just walking the hallways and kind of like learning about this new playground. All right. He's not Would like poking into locked doors or anything. He's just like he wants to know what's where. Like gotcha. What's what's attached to the walls and what's not <laughs> so second floor all bedrooms of various from from one to ten you know the deal um you've each chosen your rooms downstairs there's the kitchen which is built for an orc so that's probably interesting to explore just because what's a kitchen made for an orc look like like these cowbirds are fucking huge you know yeah um uh, there's also an entertaining area. There's a piano. Um, yeah, the, it looks like this was like a swanky place back in the day. Um, so that's kind of all that's open. There's there's a little side study room. There's actually there's a lot of rooms in this place. It it almost manor like like it's a very fancy joint. Nice. Fancier cool. than the sign of the naked lady would have you believe. Yeah, okay. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, do you think Winnie would like want to hang out with Flynn while she's exploring too, or do you think that you guys would yeah. go your separate ways? No, no, she'd probably tag along if we were, you know, like all. I don't know if we want to as a group just sort of like walk through everywhere and just be like, oh, this is weird. Oh, this is. You know, very breakfast club style, maybe. Mm -hmm. I feel yeah, like it might, might be a thing where, like, like it starts off with just Flynn, and then like, right, like, like keeps in. like sisters overall in the group <laughs> that's wandering around. Yeah, like, 
Aww. Like going like he he Flynn would circle back to his room, his room, uh, looking over at Grim, be like, "Hey Grim, how's it going?" Like just a head poking in the the door frame, like, "Hey Grim, how's it going? And, you uh, you coming?" Uh, and Grimby is uh like trying to get this bunk to look as close to his last bunk as possible, like putting oh. the, putting little notes right where they were on the other bed, uh, just oh, no. things organized just under, just so, and he's like. Uh, all right, I think I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm done. Uh, yeah. Uh, what 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 are we doing? I don't know. Let's just explore the place. We need to find oh. a new nest for uh, for Winnie. Oh, mm. Winnie's pretty good at finding finding her own nest. But yeah, as a matter of fact, okay. Winnie being Winnie, if we find the nest, Winnie will say, "Well, too easy to find. Not that one." That is very true. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> You know, it's about the friends we make along the way. Yeah. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's, uh, I, I'm, I'm coming. Some stuff. Bats you on the back as you come out the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you guys go get Anna too? Or do you think Anna would come out on her own or their own? Sorry. Um, or. Uh, yeah, for sure. I, I thought you were already out but like yeah maybe no no i think like anna's probably just like organizing their books on the new bookshelf (laughs) you're gonna say organizing their pillows and i was like oh i feel that (laughs) i get that probably that too but 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 this it's less like organizing and more like in the first stages of what what are what to do with all of these pillows because dear god there's a lot of them i can't hold all these pillows yeah yeah it's, it's like a lot of just like sh- kind of like trying to like shove a lot of them just off the bed just make a room but yeah. Know, it's, it's like, but yeah yeah so they're, they're probably like you've been that but if someone like peeks in their room well also i don't i'm at like Whoever peeks in your room is gonna notice the difference. It's gonna be oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm sure it's a ten room. <laughs> We're back here in the seven room. Fuck you. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, if so, right now, what's basically going on in the household? Um, and you can pick up on this just from wandering around. Is like there's the little office area where Mr. Page and uh, Bethany Jones currently are, um, and Outside of that, the place is damn near empty. Um, you don't know where Gail or her granddaughter went. Um, and it's if you look out the windows, you can see Leroy is outside working in the garden. Um, and in doing so, you'd see that there's there's a nice little lawn area in the back. Uh, in the front, it just leads straight into town. But in the back, there's a nice little yard. It's fenced in. And there's actually some very pretty landscaping that's been done to try to make for like a romantic environment um and then further back there's just woods because that's what happens when you get out of town (laughs) there's gonna be woods (laughs) um there you go winnie easy access hmm can i hmm okay yeah that is gonna be uh pretty nice for me to get some more rocks i basically have to start over at this point where are her rocks <laughs> <laughs> just 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 like i uh, would just like nod <laughs> slowly <laughs> like uh-huh okay <laughs> good rocks okay <laughs> um would you guys like to go explore outside or exp- like eventually I feel like they, they would come out. And if I think Beth needs one of those people who's like, Oh, you look bored. Let me find you something to do. Like she strikes me as that type. So yeah, if she comes yeah. out and sees you guys kind of all chilling, she'll have a yeah. task eventually. So. Uh, well, there, there's definitely a point where we, we kind of, we're done walking around and like, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's not a ton yeah. to see. Flint's yeah. breaking out his uh is is hurdy gurdy in the courtyard and just starts jamming. <laughs> so, so that's what gets Bethany's attention. You know what? Solidly. That does sound like. <laughs> All right, how well can Flintster play this hurdy gurdy? I can roll to know that. Oh, 
I mean, uh, you're a bard, right? But... I know I'm a cleric, but oh, I do right, have right. perform, and I'm trained in the hurdy gurdy. <laughs> uh, let me find. Oh, there they are. Performance plus four. Ooh, all right. Let's check it out. Uh, seven plus four is eleven. Not bad. I, I never said he he knew how, like he was good. He just knows yeah, how yeah. to. Yeah, you know? that feels accurate. That's what, the hurdy gurdy feels like a complicated instrument. So like it's kind of yes. like the bagpipes, where step one is just figuring out how to make all the sounds. Exactly. Then you make it so, music. Still figuring <laughs> out how it works. Yeah, and I've again, I feel like I, I feel like I understand Flinster, and he's not even that interested in making music. He's mostly invested in the sounds. Yeah. yeah yeah he could be playing better if he wanted to <laughs> almost that vibe i feel like we're almost there um so yeah uh bethany would eventually come out probably with mr page in tow and see you all chilling in the courtyard area i trust you've all found your rooms mr page looks at winnie hmm. sure <laughs> He looks up on the roof from here. Like, <laughs> doesn't see anything. Up, oh, well, that might be true. <laughs> and 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 when he's going to see that and is going to do that motion where she puts her two fingers in front of her eyes and then she puts her two fingers on you, she's like, "I'm watching you. Yeah. I'm watching you. Yeah, watch Mr. me." <laughs> Mr. Page like smiles and nods. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're a very strange child. Okay. Um, <laughs> Winnie's so fun to play. I'm not going to lie. Because <laughs> she is so odd. I could just <laughs> be a goofball. Yeah, I fun. had to take Jason aside and be like, how do I role play Bethany across from Winnie? Like we had to have a conversation yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so with that all said, and she sees that you're all standing there, she'll... Um, glance out and call out to Leroy. Um, Leroy! Leroy! And he'll look up and kind of saunter over. Huge, huge, uh, probably half orc looking at him up close now. Um, but he's going to come over. He's holding like what looks like a comically small rake to this man. Like the kitchen's all made <laughs> for him, but nothing else is. Um, and. Um, She's going to uh, look right at him and go, didn't you say you were having some problems with um, the Brun Bruns getting into the yard? And he's going to nod. And she is going to immediately clap her hands. That's your first task then. Winnie peeks up. <laughs> she loves Brun Bruns. They're the best. So looking out, into that section of the yard he was just in there's mm -hmm. like four or five different like vegetable areas um so you could see right away how bren bruns could be a problem yeah but and Aubrey's going to kind of glance at woody and just we need to keep them out not in yeah we need to remove them from the garden that's right yes okay got it so Give me one second. I think Jamie got Jamie got snacks. Yeah. Did you get a snack? It looked like he was bringing you snacks. Oh. Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, it was snacks though. That's good. Good. As long as you got snacks. All right. Cool. I was disappointed that it wasn't snacks. That was all. <laughs> no, it, it is. It is snacks. Good. Um. So yeah. Um. Uh, I feel like there's a good chance if there's no follow up questions. Bethany will just go back inside. Like, I gave you a task, now go do oh, it. Oh, no. <laughs> that was foolish. <laughs> um, what is the orc's name? Uh, Leroy. Leroy, thank you. And can I just, for canon's sake, you don't have to answer this, but I'm just putting it together in my brain. Is the reason the kitchen is made for him because he was here back when it was what it was? So he's been he's stayed with the building. He's like the groundskeeper. That seems to be the correct, like, if you had to guess, like, why else would they build yeah. a kitchen it was just that like big? That. Yeah. Okay. Like, that was clearly custom made for someone very large. He's the largest guy you've seen. It's probably his kitchen. Okay. 
It's like my house just doesn't want me to play D anD D. That's what it feels like sometimes. You this know? is going way better than last time. I've listened to the last true. one twice. This is way better. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Good. Well, um, I want to run right up to Leroy excitedly, and Winnie is going to go. Bren, Bren's. Where did you say those were? He is going to take his thumb and point back to the gardens that are behind him. And probably give like a little grunt, like what Ryan just did. Ryan, do that again. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. All right. Great, fully perfect. <laughs> Fantastic. So that's he's just gonna point. Uh, you don't see any Brun Bruns right now. <laughs> um, and he'll probably say something like, "They've been coming in." They've been coming in at night. And he has a very, like, right away, you're like, oh, yeah, that is a half orc because the way he's speaking is very common, very, yeah. like, socialized. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I think we should go over and kind of get the lay of the land. Um, if you uh, all want to give me some nature checks, I can tell you. <laughs> The Heck lay of yeah. the land. I found what you were talking oh, about. The game actually log pretty good. Too, Ryan. I found it. Yeah, oh. I finally Ooh. found it. Flynn rolls a two minus one. That's one. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Oh. Anavria rolls a fifteen plus three, which is an eighteen. Oh, <laughs> I only roll a six. I've read some books on the subject. That's what we're getting. Useful. Here. Yeah. Grimby uh, uh, has a flat d20 for a marvelous total of six. So, from an outsider's <laughs> perspective, it would look to anyone else like Anna's the only one taking this seriously. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I feel like I feel like we're all we all turned around to Winnie. Winnie's like, uh, and then Anna's the one going like, well, actually, no. Winnie is going to immediately become a Brun Brun and is going to get on all fours and start sniffing around the grass in the garden, but is not vocalizing or helping the situation yeah. at all. Is yeah. just trying to become one with the Brun Brun. <laughs> That's kind of an auto figure. It's like, man, Winnie has probably some really great useful information that would help with this, but we're just going to pretend like she does it because she might as well. (laughs) Yeah, Winnie, did you shapeshift into a brun run or are you just mimicking a brun run in your Winnie form? Mimicking a brun run. Oh, okay. Okay. That's even better. That's much better. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. I don't think you can transform yet, can you? (laughs) We're not a high enough level yet, so you're just pretending I to be a brun man. Does, does Leroy see her do this? Let's see. He okay. does, and the, his face doesn't change. Mm-hmm. That's the, mm-hmm. like, he's a very serious dude, and he watches this, and he's just, <laughs> yep. Our, our yeah. dude has seen things. This is nothing. <laughs> I love it. She's just sitting there, like, ripping up cabbages with her tea. Like, he might take some umbrage <laughs> to that. <laughs> Depending, okay, so how not destructively. Okay, that's fine then. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I was trying to find the way to phrase that where it's like, how how Winnie would Winnie be at this? Um, No, she's not trying to be a jerk, but. Okay. So Anna would be able to see um right away with that nature check like oh yes there's a lot of brun brun activity in this area like i can see exactly where they're coming in there's this hole in the fence um and then they're scampering through here and they're eating all this lettuce over here and they've been digging up these carrots obviously um so yeah there's definitely a brun brun problem you see all of the you see their leavings their markings all of that Mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. so the next step would be you trying to keep them out or yeah so uh turning to to grimsby because <laughs> a lot lot of stuff going on in their head uh handiness maybe not so much <laughs> so <laughs> to, turn to, to grimsby and and, <laughs> and be like so do either of you know how to patch a fence that's because there's a hole that's that's i th- think where they're getting in that's probably step one 
Good work, detective. <laughs> uh, I I don't uh, I mean I might know how to patch a, a, a little bit of it, but I'm... your name is Hammer Hills. Surely you can <laughs> patch a fence. Uh, I think that might be profiling, and yeah. profiling is wrong. <laughs> yeah, I was like, is this, is this racist? <laughs> Aren't we all named after what our parents do? Yeah, My but name's Stillwater. They did no nothing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was really good. <laughs> That's amazing. Name's Stillwater. They did nothing. Let me look at your last names. I so don't I have, no- have a thought about that yet. Uh, you beat None. me. <laughs> but I don't. I, I need to Mr. look at how much. Mr. Page does read a lot of books, names. though. It's, uh, yeah. Yep, there you go. He does. Yep. Mrs. Jones, she sings a nice smooth jazz song. <laughs> Is it smooth jazz? So, I feel like that's not right. Oh, uh, let me check my inventory and see what kind of things I have. Uh, do I have any hammers? No hammers. Um, I, I could cast cause fear on the fence, but I don't think that would be very helpful. <laughs> I mean... If the Brumbruns were too uh, scared to come through the fence, uh, it might work really well. But it, it I, it, it's not a. I, I need to have a Brumbrun to do that to you. It's the works on the mind, and I can't just make it last until one shows up. That would have been useful, but yeah, um, not how the spell works. Um, hmm. All right, so uh, if we well, if we could maybe at least tell them about the fence yeah. and yeah, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa! It's our mission. No, I mean, we could do other we're, things. We're probably but... graded on this. All right, like if we ask for help, it might bring the grade lower. I think we got this. All right, with we you could... in the case, Detective Anna and Hammer Boy. Um, oh, what if we put uh, some big Grimby. good rocks in front of it? But, but we yeah. uh, okay stuff a bunch of pillow in there a bunch of pillows in there i mean we just need two pieces of wood and a couple nails and we're probably fine mm. i mean how big's the uh, how big's the hole would you say <laughs> like Stop. yay big yay small bigger uh, biggish roll me a d10 i, I feel oh, no. so dumb i was i was picturing a chain link fence i don't know why i was like, <laughs> like a I, I, I'm picturing a wooden fence, but like the bottom of it has rotted away mm-hmm. upwards. Yeah. Um, it's a five, so like probably big enough for doing. two two and a half brun bruns to fit through. Right. And brun so, bruns are about the size of a large house cat. Okay, so okay. so all we need is about a piece of wood about the same size, right? And then another wood that can go across it. And maybe just a couple nails to kind of hammer into the the two pieces of wood together, but it's got to go longer so you can hammer it into the other sides of the fences. Unless they want it to look pretty, in which case we'd have to replace the, the post. Oh, well, that's already a lot more than I would have thought of. So that's just <laughs> appreciate what about, your expertise. Um, what if we lured them at night when they come? What if we where? instead of anywhere else but the garden um that winnie what are you doing with your room when we lure them somewhere else they'll come back here eventually after... <laughs> not if we keep them fed but that they, they're still eating the food <laughs> well we just Can gotta make sure question? we also they're wild animals are because she's they're... a wild animal uh, they're, they're a wild animal like, <laughs> don't get along great <laughs> I don't think you need more of them. We need some more of them. I mean, by the way, I like. Wrong. So, from a distance, just setting a picture, Leroy went back to work. So, he's just like doing the weeding in the background, all of that. And then we have these three, the peak of excellence, trying to figure out how to fix this fence. Like, just. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Um, one who actually knows what they're talking about, kind of. One that knows about nature, but nothing about carpentry. And one who mm-hmm. seems to be actively trying to fuck it up worse. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because he's just okay. a little ball of chaos. And then I in the background, know. Winnie is just 
bouncing (laughs) she's she's sniffing and i want her to pounce up and say i've got the scent (laughs) of of what (laughs) the brun buns you guys you're missing the point and here's the question that i wanted to ask brie Mm -hmm. leroy said that they mostly come out at night but brun buns aren't nocturnal so i think winnie is going to be like there's there must be something wrong with the brun bruns, you guys. That they're 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 not gonna come into the garden and, and eat all this <laughs> these vegetables at night. They're scared of everything. Brun bruns would never be out at night. Something's gotta be going on with them. We have is, to help them. Is it a mating ritual? Is do they do something like that? Of course. I, your mind goes straight to the mating rituals. <laughs> I mean, listen, with animals, That's it's Kelsey, it's, everybody. With <laughs> animals, it's usually one or two things it's food or sex. Like, Anna's got some <laughs> like environmental bias going yeah, on. You know, yeah, like the, there, there are two main tribes. The, the second Anna went into that and got that room, that's just going to color the yeah. rest of the day. It's true. <laughs> it's the, because if Winnie said it's not the food, then okay, maybe it's the <laughs> other thing. <laughs> I mean, it may be that it may be that they want the food from the garden, but it's got to be because wherever they're normally getting it is messed up. I don't know, but it's got to take a lot for a brun brun to come out in the middle of the night. So maybe we should wait until night and then see what yeah. direction they're coming from. Yeah. Well, maybe there's something yeah. that's chasing them off. We hide at night. Yes. That that all sounds like really smart people stuff. Um, we, we should also fit fix the fence in the meantime. Yeah, that's that's, that's what or I was going to say. Or at I least got a blanket. Do, do a patch mm-hmm. job and then tell mm-hmm. them to get yeah. some more permanent work. I'll, I'll go see what I can get from Leroy by way of uh, wooden tools and uh, see about fixing it up. All and right. he goes to see um, Mr. Leroy. Fantastic. Um, if you approach Leroy, he'll probably wipe his hands off on he's wearing like overalls like he he looks like a groundskeeper um and he's he'll just look at you and he's not gonna say anything he's yeah. just gonna look at you and uh he looks up at uh leroy and he gets ready to talk and he loses his voice and then he remembers this is the guy that gave him pancakes and then yeah. he catches himself and says uh, uh pardon me mr leroy but uh we got into pieces of wood about yay big and another one or two about yay big or so in, in, in a hammer and some nails. Um, his eyes are going to go from you to the hole in the fence, which might tell you that this is not a secret to him. Like he kind of, he knew about the hole in the fence. He just wanted you guys to do it. <laughs> Ow. He already has all the tools for it. Probably just waiting. <laughs> Flynn disappears. <laughs> Oh no, work! Um, <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when you come back, Lynn is is gone, and like, and Ariel yeah. is just like, like they're probably like, just like s- s- sketching it out, like you yeah. know, because they, they've never seen someone do construction before. This is Aww. this is fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> and and they've been like, they're just like, oh yeah, Flynn is just is gone. Yeah, you know. The thing. And um, Winnie is rubbing Brun Brun feces all over themselves to mask the scent. <laughs> For our sting, for our stakeout, <sighs> Leroy just watches. Um, so <laughs> Leroy is going to pat Grimby oh, no. on the shoulder, probably engulfing his entire shoulder in it. Pat, pat, and then he's going to start to lead you um, further towards the side of the former brothel, mm-hmm. where there's a nice little shed actually set up. Um, like, like a little one, almost just a bit bigger than like your typical outhouse, let's say. Um, and he's going to open it up and there's going pretty much everything you'd want to be in a shed when you're taking care of a garden would be there, including nails, wood, hammers, all of that. Um, and he'll kind of just nod to it and do a grunt and then leave you to it. And nobody else followed him here. Doesn't sound like it. <laughs> so a place Unless Flynn wants is... to reappear, but it oh. sounds like he does that when he wants to, not... Yes. 
<laughs> no, this is perfect. I won't be long. A, a, a place that, as far as Grimby's aware, only he and Leroy are aware of. So it's like Aww. a place, a, a nice, quiet place. Uh, if if he needs to hide, um, so he looks for some kind of toolbox to, for the hammer and some nails. And if he can't find anything like that, um, he'll just lightly tap the nails in one of the pieces of wood, not too deep, but just enough to hold them. And, uh, get the aforementioned uh, stuff that he wanted to go and fix the hole. It's so exciting, you guys. We're going to fix a hole. That's right. Yeah. Well, speaking <laughs> of which, when you, if you come back to the, 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 the hole in the fence, yeah. uh, Flynn's waiting for you there with his hands behind his back. And when you get close enough, he'll say, got wood? And he takes from behind his back the sign from the the brothel <laughs> that was taken down, <laughs> and he's like, "Hey, I found something. <laughs> it's just the right size." <laughs> you are gonna kill me one day. That's too good. <laughs> too good. It is exactly so the right size. He's right. Yes! Um, it's honestly oh, perfect. For it. <laughs> I did roll for it. It's perfect. Um, it's far better than the wood you grabbed, actually. The nails will still work on it, though. Yeah. So, good, good, good eye. That's a re real, uh, real good eye you got there. Uh, oh boy, where do I put the nails? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I got a few suggestions. You know what? Uh, don't worry. Um, the the other piece of wood will block off any parts that are too uh, too much. Um, oh, oh, uh. You know, I can just flip it over the other side. Oh no, there's one on the other side too. Oh, it's worse. Okay, Grimby, you're turning red. You're turning red, Grimby. Yeah, I'll, maybe it will I'll help deter the bun buns. <laughs> Uh, not they're gonna have a tiny brown brown brothel yeah. <laughs> happening in the garden. A brun brothel, if you will. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Brun brunthal, brunthal. Brunthal. I like yeah. brunthal. I like brun brunthal. Brunthal's good. Uh, yeah. That 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 would match what uh, uh, Anna said. Uh, the brun bruns might be doing. So, all right, uh, let's uh, get started. Um, uh, thank you. And he'll take the wood from you and uh, kind of set it in place and he'll uh, hold up the nails and he'll turn to hand you the nails to ask you to hold them for him. And are you still there? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. He's helping. He's like, <laughs> we're a good team. Graham, we're a good team, you and I. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, all right. Just hold these nails real quick so that I can start tapping them in. And uh, he goes to brace the sign which is just perfect. Um, I'm going to call this a survival check. I think that's the closest thing to carpentry you're going to get yeah. in 5e. Mm. So, right. <laughs> oh, roll for carpentry. Oh. Man! Aww. Aww. <laughs> so... My thumb! Yeah. I, I, I almost imagine Grimpy's just kind of shaking because he doesn't like being this close to the sign. It makes him nervous. And yeah. he's just... <laughs> yeah, he, he, he can't... He keeps he's... not looking at where he's supposed to be looking. And that's never he's good sweating. when you're swinging a hammer. He's yeah. Just... yeah, like yeah. he's turning his eyes completely away, but he's trying to hit the hammer anyway. Yeah. Okay. Grim, Grim, yeah. Grim, yeah. Grim, yeah. come on. Come on. It's just a sign. It's not even real. It can't hurt it's... you. Only, only you can hurt There's... you. Um, and he puts his Ow, hand on your shoulder. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, you're a brave boy. You're a brave kid. Just like me. Yeah. And he casts heroism on you. Oh, wow. And a, a willing creature you touch is imbued with bravery and immune to being frightened and gains temporary hit points. That was going to be good for the, the thumb. Yeah. Uh, I guess that's about it. <laughs> I like that Flinster talks to you the way I talk to Pippin. <laughs> You're a brave boy. You got this. Uh, uh, Same beard. I am a brave boy. Same beard. <laughs> Pippin's a little bit better bearded. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's amazing. So, all right, you're imbued with this, co- like, this really helped. Yeah. All right. How about you roll again, but this time, give me advantage. All right. Yeah. yeah. I will click on you're that You're really again. brave about it now. I'm, I'm feeling awfully brave. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh baby. All right, all right, I want to see something real quick. Uh <laughs> Ryan, are you okay? The dice are, Wait. man. I, did, you, did you do did something? Really mean I think so. I don't, double digits. I don't know who I cursed, but. Uh, <laughs> well, okay. So to describe uh, uh, on the uh, on the 2d20, I rolled a five and a three. My survival gives me a plus two. So uh, with advantage, my uh, total is a seven. Woo. That's, that's better. That's right. It's definitely better. So. When I was a kid, Jamie might remember this, we tried to build a tree house. Uh-huh. Um, and what we managed to do, if you recall, Jamie, is mm-hmm. nail like three pieces of wood to a tree that kind of looked like a ladder. Um, and that's it. But that led <laughs> us to the first branch and then we just kept climbing up the tree. Um, mm-hmm. I imagine Grimby attached the sign to the fence with the exact same kind of rigmarole like it's it's there he figured it out Mm -hmm. it's attached it doesn't look very pretty like the nails are kind of going in odd directions um yeah if if someone tugged on it it would probably come off maybe you pack the dirt at the bottom to try to like hold it into place a little bit um but it is just a hole in the fence and you have technically patched the hole in the fence We'll say that maybe uh, he grabbed uh like half the nails he should have to secure this properly. Just yeah, yeah. Uh, Flynn's like, well, you know, maybe you're more hills than hammer. You know, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't wasn't the bravery part? It was just the you know I, the hammer part. I, I never fixed a fence before. I think it's all right. Well, you did now. The whole I think it looks gone? great. Yeah, hole's gone. Yeah. I mean, it's just a temporary thing anyways. I, I don't think they were expecting us to whip out a miracle of carpentry. That... Winnie is going to hand one of these Bren Bren turds to Anna. <laughs> Anna will t- like, like, take it and just, like, look at me. It's like... What like like so I'm like is it like like rabbit poop I imagine it's a bunch of like pellets yeah, it's a card of... yeah yeah Here's yeah the thing. I kind of look it's, at it it's <laughs> rabbit poop crossed with cat poop though hmm yeah you should make that face because what I imagine <laughs> is it's rabbit poop and that like you can hold it and it's solid but the second you break that open it's not going to smell like compost the way rabbit poop smells like compost right. it's going it to smell smells. like cat poop. It's going to Can smell. We get toxoplasmosis and theria, probably, right? <laughs> probably. It's and probably worse. Winnie probably too. has it. If, if you want to know more about theria and toxoplasmosis, uh, you should buy the second DNR book. And Are, look you at our hey, yeah. Are you for real? Are you for real? Oh, there, oh there's God. a very special version of tox- so toxoplasmosis. Oh, in I oh, don't boy. love it. I'm sure it's amazing. Well, Jamie, you might want to get the next book because you All right. just voted yourself in Brun Brun Poop. It's oh, true. I'm gonna, cast resistance on <laughs> Anna and go go for it. We got a D4 I mean, on your I'm constitution. Going to okay. Wait until our um resident stinky run run is distracted by something else and then uh drop it into grass. <laughs> I'd like to point out you guys are like, yeah, we're gonna do a sting tonight. It's like eleven AM. Like yeah. <laughs> I imagine like it's around lunch time now. Like you may not mean... pass the time between breakfast and lunch. Can like, and Winnie's already save, covered in mine. run run poo. Yeah. I mean that, that that was gonna happen regardless. Like let's not be yeah, yeah it was true. gonna happen regardless. That's not true. the first time. <laughs> Can we follow any sort of tracks then, since we have so much time during the day before That's our true. sting, or at least try? Yeah, like see if we see any signs of where they're coming. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, on the other side of the fence, you definitely. Mm-hmm. How about um, you all roll me a nature check? We love those. All right. Do we'll we see it? There we oh, go. Yeah, there we go. go. Holy hey. shit, we do. <laughs> yeah. All right. Winnie's actually invested now in this one. Yeah, right? 
I needed well, to be covered in shit camouflage. first. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. All right. So now it's like the opposite. It's literally mm-hmm. the equal and opposite because we got Kelsey in here with a three. Uh, Xavier with a 19. Ryan with a 17. And Jamie with an 18. So you three are super invested and Anna's just kind of checked out. <laughs> Right around the time someone told her to rub herself in cat poop, she was like, mm. "Yeah, there was, like, that was a catalyst." <laughs> like we're all like on board, and I was like, "Okay, no, no. Yeah. all right." I I heard there was a library somewhere. I know <laughs> exactly. It's like, I I am still not in the library yet. Why are we continuing to be outside? This is <laughs> we made a perfectly good inside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's all the pillows in the world in there. What are you guys doing? <laughs> really? Oh, Wait, I was gonna say it's eventually that conversation. What you got? You got pillows? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have so many pillows. Please, do you want some? <laughs> will you please take some pillows? Uh, Actually, I'm not gonna wait for an answer to that. You will take some pillows. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Keep them coming. <laughs> Pillow for uh um. Uh, but my mattress sacks a little, so I'll need a few underneath it to help support it a little. So, yeah. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sure there's enough for that. <laughs> so, I I love this. So, I imagine outside of the fence, the grass is actually really long because Leroy takes care of his land. He doesn't take care of mm-hmm. the woods beyond. So, you can actually see a fairly clear imprint in the grass where these brun bruns are coming and going, and you can see that it leads towards the woods. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Wanna, should should we tell it? Any, anyone where we're going before we... No, okay. Uh, <laughs> they know. They know we're on the case. Who uh, wants to know anyway? Um, well, Leroy probably saw us take uh, off. Right? Uh, ho- wait, uh, uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to go tell Mr. Leroy. And he goes Aww. to tell Mr. Leroy. And, oh, Grimby. And then he comes running back to everyone else. <laughs> uh, Mr. Leroy will probably give you a, a firm nod and, yeah, a grunt. And honestly, he, he probably looks a little bit proud. <laughs> like, like, you get the vibe. Like, he doesn't say anything, but, like, he's looking at that patched hole and he looks happy with you. Okay. Or as happy as an orc, a half orc can look. Yeah, yeah. Um, like it's not pretty, but he knows that you did your best. Oh, That's what yeah. matters. Oh wait, I got to put the hammer away. And, and he uh, says, now he looks oh, even I, more proud. I'll be right there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's so precious. I love Grimby so much. The sweetest baby boy. Oh my god. Um. Anyway. I've seen those TikToks. <laughs> you <laughs> pervert. <laughs> By the time okay, that meme got, got to me, it was just about thick being with two C's. Like, I don't know <laughs> what the meme was before that. <laughs> so, yeah, this will... I imagine... You know what? Give me another uh, nature check. But this time, Jamie, do you think uh, Winnie would be leading the way? I definitely, yeah, on all fours. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Um, so, yeah, how about you roll me a nature check? Yeah. Okay. If, if we're doing any, like, not sneaking, but just because I have masked my sense, my sense. <laughs> <laughs> From yeah. the brun. No, let's listen, guys. Brun bruns are very <laughs> jumpy. We have to be careful. I don't know if rubbing yourself in poop is making you less <laughs> noticeable. It's so, so can I just I don't, I'm just I'm just mentioning it. That like <laughs> you have rubbed yourself in poop. I I have a note. <laughs> Winnie poop. I got it. <laughs> That's a, a, a seven well. plus. 12 okay 12 or no okay. no 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 no. i'm sorry oh. 10 my okay. my perception yeah i got mixed up you're fine like i said this was you started out with a 19 so or mm-hmm. flynn and you and y'all had really high teens so you're not gonna lose this, the uh 
the trail. trail very easily. So with a 10, I think the worst you've probably done is you're messing up the trail as you go because you're pretending to be a Brun Brun. So you're kind of making the trail much more wider. Well, that's <laughs> yeah, good. Like, It'll make it easier for my companions. <laughs> I like that Winnie's mentality is still inviting the Brun Bruns in. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, um, like I said before, the heart, the um, old brothel is right on the edge of town. So, as you are pissing, turning through these long grass, you will eventually get to a river um, that kind of separates the town like that's kind of where the town starts you know like you go over this nice little bridge and that's when you make your way into Esterholt um from this direction so she is going to start going towards that bridge and actually it it does seem like it's leading you directly under that bridge let's go send them a message oh jesus no, I really think oh, we should be as quiet and as stealthy as we possibly can. Like Run, runs get really scared, you guys. It's, it's, what, what if the thing that they're running from is under the bridge? Should we maybe... Uh, is there I'm a way still, to check? I'm still under the impression they're after the lettuce. <laughs> Well, did you bring any? <laughs> nah, I'm all out. Life finishes chewing. <laughs> Fresh out. Grimby, do you have any lettuce? Should I? Should I? Should I go back and uh, uh, get some? No, no, no it, it's. I, nah. I could. I could make the smell of lettuce. <gasps> Press the digitation. Oh, but... the smell of lettuce. <laughs> Okay, this is I haven't done this specific thing before. Let's <laughs> do a whole salad, like a like a little garden salad. They they'll okay. love it. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but probably, oh, no. probably no dressing. What's <laughs> what's Brun Run's favorite food? Right, <laughs> do that. <laughs> I'd say Brun Bruns are more in their diet much more rabbit like than cat like so cucumbers lettuce carrots they love that shit they're really into tapas actually <laughs> actually yeah it's true <laughs> yeah all of us gonna kind of like rub their hands together like whisper a few things probably in a louder language and then like kind of like like spread their hands wide open and this like like there's no like visual effect but this like scent of like this delicious fresh salad is just like emanating from their palms and kind of like moves outwards <laughs> is, is that acceptable is that around nice <laughs> nice yep smells great <laughs> Now I'm hungry. It is. Oh, it, yeah, it, me it, too. It, oh, Bree, you're muted. It is about lunchtime. We should have eaten before we did this. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm hungry. Too. I wasn't muted at all. Um, two things. <laughs> First of all, Kelsey, could you read me that spell so that I know how it works? Yeah, that's prestidigitation. It is a minor magical trick. It's a cantrip. Um, <laughs> and I can just use it to create a bunch of effects. The one that I was doing is like, you create a instantaneous harmless sensory effects such as shower sparks puff of wind faint musical note or an odd odor so. okay good all right just, so yeah the second part of this is that you are standing very close to a tiny girl covered in cat shit um yeah yeah i did not think about that <laughs> did not think about that part that was a <laughs> well, i didn't want to say anything, anything. No, no, that's that's totally fair. And also, because like we're so like because we've been around her for like a little bit now, so yeah, we're we probably like now. yeah. So we just like, didn't even <laughs> think about that. It's like, <laughs> so, oh gosh, that's perfect. <laughs> so we'll do. Um, you roll me a d twenty, and we'll see how Good. Anna was able to adjust this spell so that they could 
overcome. Like you still want it to smell like lettuce, but you need it to smell strong enough to be smelled over Winnie. So mm -hmm. how'd you do? It's a ten. Ten. Much. Okay, so it could have been stronger, but well, if there's anything that likes to eat brun bruns, <laughs> they, they will think that they are definitely so nearby, which could be a good or a bad thing. <laughs> I mean, I don't think animals chase the poop smell. I think they taste the animal smell. <laughs> like, guys, I gotta be honest. Poop I... And the things that brunch buns eat. I feel like that might be enough. <laughs> guys, I'll be honest. I think Winnie might not be an expert on um, what? hunting and no. tracking animals. No way. What? <laughs> Listen. You have to remember she's 14, okay? I do. That's the thing. She so, thinks she's yeah. an expert. <laughs> right? she's doing, lot, as far as she's concerned. Year, yeah, a lot so of 14 year old know a lot about dinosaurs. Right. I don't That's know if you can track yeah. them. Exactly. That is the level we're working with. Oh. She's a fangirl. <laughs> yes. Oh. So I'm going to roll now. And um, let's roll say again. on a 15 or higher we will see a result on a, on a 14 or lower um actually you know what let's make it a 10 because you rolled a 10 okay so that makes yeah, it feel fair 10 or higher we're gonna see a result to your spell <laughs> 10 or lower too much poopy smell can't can't do it can't do it <laughs> oh i love this oh <gasps> okay they love it all they right, also so we're running a 20 <laughs> that was a 20 so yeah, even though like you didn't make it, that's probably for the best because maybe if you had made it smell even stronger, um, these two little Brun Brun who are coming out right now um, wouldn't have trusted the scent. They would have been like, that's not real lettuce. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. because it's kind of lighter, um, could, you know what? I'm going to let Kelsey and Jamie do it. Could you both roll me D6s? Uh oh, okay. Four and five and five. <laughs> All right, so there you see these two kind of like very plump brun brun, like healthy baby brun bruns. Not baby brun bruns. They are clearly adults, and one of them is a gray striped brun brun, and the other one is a calico brun brun. And yes, that is what you just rolled for. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So one of them has like a black spot here, uh, like orange spot, orange spot. And then the other one's Aww. just kind of gray with stripes and like little black tips on its ears. Um, well, I and love they're going to come out and, and they're like peeking. They're peeking out. And I think I need all of you to roll a stealth check. But you definitely see them. Like you definitely saw these two run run. Um, um, I'm assuming I'm not wear ar wearing my armor. Like we're not ready for combat or anything. Nah, you're so good. I'm not good. Yeah. Gonna... <laughs> I don't have disadvantage. Is yeah, what I'm asking. Fine. Yeah. Okay. That's right. uh, plus two, so that's a sixteen. Oh uh -oh. well, it... does it matter? <laughs> oh, Flynn. Just... <laughs> well, so Flynn... Flynn gets out the hurdy gurdy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I think it's the perfect time. So oh, here's no. for the people who succeeded. You succeeded. I actually imagine that that like Grimby, like he saw the run run, remembered that Winnie said that they were easily frightened and just went stock still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I cannot scare these run run. Um, Cause he got a 20. I, yeah. I think with my two. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. My four. Oh. With my four, I think when when Flynn sees the two brown browns come out. He just goes, "Nice." <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it is. Amazing. Slow pan from Winnie over to Finn. Like, what? So happy right now. That's so good. <laughs> All right, so those two, those two little brown brown heads are gonna go like zoom they're gone um, oh sorry <laughs> um but they are like they zoomed right under that bridge you have definitely found where at least two brun brun have come from a gray one and a calico Look, one 
<laughs> Look, I'm gonna just step back. I see this. I, this is not my element. I'm probably a nuisance, but I love how the two of you work together. And he points at, at Anna and and Winnie, and I just want to see, you know, how it turns how it turns out. What what fate holds for you two? And he's gonna use a feature called emboldening bond. Mm. Uh, Aww. Cool. As an action, I can choose up to two willing creatures within 30 feet of me. I create a magical bond among the two of you for 10 minutes. Uh, and while bonded, as long as you two are within 30 feet of each other, uh, once per turn, you can roll a d4 and add it to an attack roll and an ability check or a saving throw that you make That's for 10 minutes. Cool. That's that really is cool. cool. So, so go along. Uh, work together. <laughs> I want to see how it turns out. I just picture him like sitting down, putting his feet up. Yeah, probably chewing probably. on something. So, do we have a plan? Well, what do we do uh-huh. after we, if we get them back out again? Are... We we pet them. Gotta relocate them. That's true. They are really close to the city. We probably should find them somewhere safer to be. <gasps> Hidden in plain sight. You mean? I don't think that's safer for them. That maybe I was more thinking like the forest. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to have those two brubbers in your room, Winnie. I'm not gonna lie; that's the only thing I've been thinking about since the start of this whole thing. You, you can. They're d- domesticated. For, you can get a pet. It's not a wild animal. <laughs> it's not that's the true. same. <laughs> It's not good for them. They want to be in the wild. Let's just make sure that they're okay. I really am worried that they might be sick. Okay. Um, should we try that again with less interruptions? <laughs> no. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> Would you guys want to try the prestigitation again? Or did you want to try to approach the house? Or the nest? Okay, I was like, wait, there's a house? (laughs) Yeah, the nest. (laughs) This is getting very rats of Nim, actually. They have little teapots. Yeah, the Brun Brun's butler answers the door. Hello. (laughs) Hello. I I think we should maybe try getting a little bit closer this time. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, we'll get a little closer and we'll see if we can get them to come out to us. All right. give Give me two stealth checks. And you have D4s in your back pocket if you need them? Well, I might as well just... <laughs> just throw that D4 as well? Yeah. To add to your four? Oh, well, look, that's a five. <laughs> What's your bonus? It's an eight. What is your bonus? Oh, no. It's an eight altogether? Okay. All together, yeah. So, an eight and a 15. So, honestly, this might be where the coating yourself in poop might be working <laughs> against you a little bit. It is hard to be stealthy. Well, covered in cat poop. And Winnie might not make this connection, but Anna definitely realizes pretty quickly, like, oh, that scent's giving you away. Um, and I think with Kelsey's 15, Anna might even notice that soon enough to kind of course correct and be mm-hmm. like, hey, let's approach from this side. Um, <laughs> uh, and downwind. between the two of you, yes, exactly. I think Anna would actually be able to like grab, and between the two of you, you'll be able to approach this bridge. Um, could I have two perception checks? Boy. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I, I feel it. D4s, oh, D4s god, all attack. around. What is happening? Use it, it's free. Ten Use minutes. Use your D4s? Yeah, yeah. Here. <laughs> <laughs> is this real? My, my, mine's a, a 13 in total. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so in total kills. <laughs> So like when he's trying her best, right? Like when he's, <laughs> when he's doing this is like, like supposed to be my character's thinking. thing. <laughs> and she's she's excited. Like I imagine like she's trying really hard to be that like Eliza Thornberry like character <laughs> in her head that she wants to be, but she's just a kid she's, at the end of the day. Ends she's up excited. being Nigel. Yeah. <laughs> she ends up being a little oh, Nigel. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jamie turns and it's Nigel's face. <laughs> God. Hey. Go get that Snapchat filter. <laughs> don't, please don't. Um, I'll lose my shit. Um, okay. So 
as Winnie is like starting to move closer, at one point Anna is going to stop and realize that they can hear something, and it's teeny tiny little. And there's several of them. Oh, so no. there's there's more than the two. And also, this doesn't sound like they're adult Brun Bruns. <laughs> Did you just smell funny? Winnie... Are you okay there? <laughs> Winnie's going to do exactly that. She's going to get all... <laughs> As quietly as she can to Anna. Little furless, little transparent babies. Yep. What, 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 what do we do? Uh... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we, ha- we have to move them. We can't leave them under a bridge. We got to take them back. We're taking them back. Do we need, like, do we have a, a box? Grandpa! <laughs> Grandpa! Well, yeah. Might I suggest that you two go back? Yeah. 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 <laughs> we, 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 we retreat. <laughs> <laughs> retreat. Regroup. <laughs> okay, we're taking them back. <laughs> Okay. No, okay. I, I don't. Great idea. Think we should take them back. There, there's a lot of babies. I think what, um, babies. Oh, wait, weren't we? We supposed... can't just leave them in the middle of the city. No, we're... no, no. We we need to take them out into the woods further. But... Were weren't we supposed? Yeah, wasn't we were supposed to make them not in the garden area? And if we're taken back, then they are closer to the garden area. Though not in it. Right, but we need the food from the garden area. I imagine that we are eaten from that, and if we just say, have at it, Brun Bruns, um, that may affect our future meal prospects. As far as I'm concerned, we've eaten 100% pancakes so far, so <laughs> uh, I don't think we're using the garden much. Okay, well, yeah. let's see what's for lunch, because it's about lunchtime, and we can figure we, out... We should go back and have lunch and get a nice padded box tactical retreat i like it i don't think they're gonna go anywhere until night so we have we have time to get okay. supplies yeah you guys go back i'll watch the brun no, no, and make no. sure you don't have to whisper yeah you have to you don't have to whisper anymore <laughs> i'll make sure nothing attacks or like bothers Wait, them no 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 Wait, when you, you, you need to survive so far you, you need your, your energy to Come on, Whitney. Come back. Come on. You you gotta pull her. Pull her. <laughs> I pull you. But they're, but they're come on. They're come so, on. They're, I don't want them to get hurt. <laughs> I'll be fine. They've I'm, lasted this long. <laughs> I'm also like a halfling, so I'm probably I don't know how tall you are, but it's probably like tugging at your hand, like, come on. <laughs> come on. Oh, that's so cute. Kind of like just using your hand and like putting all this weight, like he's letting trying to touch fall the one backwards. part of her hand that doesn't have Brun Brun Poo on it. Like, <laughs> right, I mean, yeah. I think I think we're past that point. <laughs> yeah, you, you you all have some amount of Brun Brun Poo on you. Yeah. So, uh, is is Bethany gonna let us? <laughs> it's a good How is this gonna work when we walk? Uh, par- <laughs> pardon me. Uh. uh... An Avril, can you do that that cleaning trick that you did the, uh, this morning, but on uh, all of us? <sighs> I can. It would take a. <laughs> I, I could only do a little bit at a time. I. I'm good. Time. You can do them. I'm good. I mean, and no, I think if you want lunch, we're gonna have to eat you. Um, I'm ready, oh wizard. If we just do. <laughs> Down are, are we still clean, like near clean. like the river, not like where the bread buns are, but is there still a river? It's I too think there far. is there is a river. <laughs> okay, so instead of using pressed digitation, <laughs> I'm not real gonna use shape water and just drench no. the entire group. <laughs> Backfired. <laughs> All right, I need to know. 
<laughs> do they get themselves as well? Or are they yeah, clean yeah. enough that they're like, no, I'm fine. You all need to be wet. <laughs> No, I, I don't think this is this is that well thought through because it's like, oh, where I need to clean this when I'm hungry and lunch is ready, but we can't get inside unless we're all clean. But if I use precipitation, it'll take a bit of time because I can only do like a certain area amount of area at the time, you know. So this is faster. <laughs> <Just> sort of like... <laughs> you know what, Bethany definitely won't notice. <laughs> <laughs> is all <laughs> soaked from head to toe with river water. <laughs> yeah. Clint's like, mm, much better. Thank you. I didn't think that through. I. Mm. All right. Uh, uh, I'm going to have one last roll for this session, and then we'll pick up later. But Kelsey, like I would like to. <laughs> Between intelligence and wisdom, <laughs> by the way, if anyone was wondering. <laughs> so. um, could you roll me a d10 so we can see how clean this river water is? Oh, boy. oh God. That's a four. <laughs> so. Sounds it's, like river water. It's yeah. river water. Yeah, it's not I mean, like a one would have gotten but... you like sewage. A one would have gotten yeah. you like, oh, yeah, all the town throws their poop in here and it's this way. <laughs> You didn't get that. You just got plain old. Good. It's kind of, it's like, now you're kind of like sandy. Mm -hmm. Like you got dirt on you mm -hmm. from the river yeah, water. Yeah. But uh, you're still arguably less smelly. Some of you. Um, yeah. Than you were before I, you were yeah, like, river like water. Like Woody's situation, I don't think could get any worse. So like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she does technically smell better than she did. <laughs> All right, I I actually think that's a great place yeah. to round it out for tonight. <laughs> Can't wait to tell our success to Mrs. Jones. I am I so happy like, with just, how this is turning we, out. We show back it's up at the point. doorstep, and we're all just dripping, <laughs> covered in poop. It's not even noon yet. Oh, oh like oh, I love this group so much. <laughs> I could not it's have been a better four people to play with. I swear to God. <laughs> Things going to go great. You're all amazing. That's not, We're not gonna anyone do from the much, cast, but it's going to go great. great. <laughs> this, is, this is really great. I, was say, I think I've set up a really good level one problem. I think that <laughs> yeah. that's a hard thing to do. And I told Jason I was very it's, proud it's of this. Great because it's not that difficult of a problem on the surface, but we're very good at making it more complicated. For right. Ourselves. Right. It's, yeah. Yeah. I totally we pulled that out won't of my. Die from this. I totally pulled that out of my butt, which I hope was okay about Brun Bruns not being nocturnal. Yeah, I had to think oh, of yeah. my feet a little bit. I was Mommy, like, no, I scared. just know that they're. I just know that they're super scaredy cats. So thing, I was like, yeah. why would Brun Bruns be out at night? Yeah. Winnie could also just be wrong. Like, yeah, that's true. That's kind of what true. I learned from that is like she could just be wrong because she's also yeah, really yeah. wrong than poop. And like, you, you had, back that up. You had just rolled your really bad nature roll. That's perfect. Yeah. I, I, sure. Like when you yeah. said that, that was just after your bad roll. So I'm like, sure. And you know what? I want I her to be you. so full of confidence even when she's wrong. So it's, it's perfect. Yeah, it's, it's perfect. It's, 